Hello, my name is Glenn Morrow from the Statewide Vision Resource Centre. In this review, I'd like to take a look at the Talking Typer app, which is available now from APH in America for the iOS platform. It's been available on Windows for a very long time now, but you can now actually get the app for an iPad or an iPhone. So let's go into the app. We've got it down here on our iPad. And when we go into the app, we're presented with the main menu. So in the top left-hand corner of the screen, uh, we've got a login option. And on the top right-hand corner of the screen, we've got the log out option. So you can log into this app and have uh, specific users. Uh, so if you've got particular students uh, and you'd like to track their progress as they go through the app, or you'd like to track your own progress as you move through the app, uh, then you can use the login option. The very first option in the main menu here is lessons and drills. So if we go into that section, uh, the very first option here is practice lesson. So let's do a practice lesson just quickly. They do recommend for this app that you use an external keyboard. So in this particular example, we'll, we'll just use the on-screen one, but they do actually recommend that you use an external physical keyboard uh, with your iPad or iPhone. So the very first uh, lesson here is home keys for the left hand. So let's choose that one. And this, this particular screen is the uh, is a pretty standard screen. You'll get used to this. So in the top left-hand corner is the quit option. So you can quit. This doesn't actually quit out of the app. It just quits out of the lesson. Uh, the next option along is instruction. So if you need some help on where you are at the moment and what you should be doing next, uh, you can tap on that option. Uh, and in the top right-hand corner is a start button. So if you tap on that, you can start the drill. So let's Type do that. Type the following characters. F, D, S, A, So let's do space. that. F, D, S. S A space F D Fad F A and so on and so on F A D Don't worry, I won't make you sit through me doing an entire typing lesson. So let's quit out of that. So I've just pressed on the stop button and we get this dialog box here. Um, and this basically gives the scores. Uh, and the very first option here is OK. Uh, so that basically returns us back to the drill and we can start and stop the drill as we were, we were doing there. Uh, the next option in this is to quit which means it will quit you back out to the menu. Uh, and the very last option is to retake that lesson. So basically we'll restart that lesson. So let's tap on OK. And we've been returned to our practice session here. So what I'll actually do is tap on the quit button. And this time what we'll do is we'll tap, uh, tap on the back button, which will take us back to the learning modes. So the first option there was the practice lessons. The second option here is the uh, default lesson. So if you go into here, this section gives you standard uh, typing lessons lessons here. So home keys for the left hand, home keys for the right hand, uh, new keys are G and H, uh, capital letters, numbers, that kind of thing. So that's a very useful thing to have. Uh, and we'll just tap on the back button here, back to uh, our learning modes. And the very last option is for custom lessons. So you can actually set up your own lessons here. So if you've got a student or if this or even for yourself obviously uh, you can set up lessons uh, and you can focus on particular areas that you may be having trouble with uh, so let's go back out to the main menu here uh, in talking typer and the second option here is the keyboard explorer so let's tap on that and now basically what we have here is the opportunity to explore our keyboard now Obviously on the screen here at the moment, we've got the on-screen keyboard, so you can just see which keys you're pressing. But if you have a physical keyboard attached, you can just type keys. F, F D, D, E, e R, R, and so on and so on. H, and it will read y, the keys out as you J, tap them. K, and if I press uh, an enter key, return. or the enter key, uh, and if I tap the Q up in the top left-hand corner, I'm going to change it to numbers just so you can hear that too. One, two, three, four. And you can type various punctuation. Open bracket. Letters. Close bracket dollar sign. So this is a really good way of, uh, of just practicing and learning the layout of your keyboard without actually having to go through a practice drill or a lesson. So that's a very, very useful feature. Uh, so let's go back to the uh, the back button in the top left hand corner here. This time it says talking typer. So that means it's taking us back to our main menu. Uh, the third option down here is games. Now there's only one game on the uh, in the Talking Typer app at the moment. I'm assuming that perhaps they will be making more at some point. This game's called Hurry Scurry. If you've used Talking Typer before, you may already be used to Hurry Scurry. It basically uh, will read out words and spell them out to you, and then you have to type them as quickly as you can and as accurately as you can as well. So let's have a quick go at this. So we'll tap on Hurry Scurry. So when we come into this, we are presented with a screen that looks pretty much like the, the screen that we had for our practice and drills before. So in the top left-hand corner, we've got the Quit button. The next button along is the Instructions button. Uh, we've got a third one here, which is the Speed button. So you can actually change the speed of the, uh, the game here if you like. And in the top right-hand corner, we've got Start. So let's tap on Start and just have a quick go at this. Until. 
U N T. So we type the word types T Y T Y P E S Aqua A Q U Rash. Oops. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm not very good at this. Zoom. Okay, pretty much, you can have a bit of fun with that. So we'll tap on the stop button to get out of it. Uh, and this basically gives you your score. Let's uh, dismiss that straight away. Just before I do that, though, there is the quit option here. And also you can actually replay the game as well. We'll go with OK. Uh, let's tap on the quit button to get out of Hurry Scary. And we'll tap on the talking typer option to come back to the main menu. The next option here, uh, the fourth one down in the main menu is for admin. So what you can do here, uh, you can set up student accounts uh, and you can set up group accounts. So a student account is so that you can track uh, progress uh, as you move through the game. Uh, groups are for groups of people. So if you've got a group of people that you'd like to keep at the same uh, skill level, uh, then you can set up a group here. And the very last option is for app preferences. So let's have a quick look at some of the app preferences that you can change. Uh, you can modify the speech uh, in the game. So for example, the first two options here, you can change the rate uh, and the pitch of the speed. You can also change the voice if you like. So if I move this up, Gordon selected. here we go. So that's Gordon. Uh, if I come down one. Karen enhanced and that's selected. Karen, which is the one that we were just using. If you'd like to hear uh, the voice and what it actually sounds like, you can tap on the test speech button. Hello there. This is Karen enhanced. How do I sound? And if you're happy with Karen, then you can uh, just come back out of this. So we'll just tap on the back button, which is the settings button in the top left hand corner of the screen. Uh, and we're back in the main preferences. You can also adjust the lesson text size down the bottom here. Uh, and this basically it gives you a left right slider and you can basically use this slider uh, to move along and actually adjust the size of the text so you can make it smaller or bigger as you move the slider along from left to right. Uh, once you're happy with that, you can tap on the settings button. So we tapped on the administrator button uh, and let's tap on the talking type of button and come out of that. Uh, and back in the main menu, the very last option here is help. So if you tap on the help option, the very first option here is the quick start guide. So if I tap on the quick start guide, uh, then we've got some base, some instructions here to get you up and running with talking typer quite quickly. In the top right hand corner is the done button when you are finished looking through that. The next option down here is the user's guide and this is a much more thorough uh, overview of the talking type app and you can just scroll through this. If you see a particular option you can just tap on that link and that will move down to that particular area of the screen uh, and you can pinch to zoom in if you need to make that a little bit bigger and easier to see. There is a done button in the top right hand corner so we tap on that and we are back in the user guide section so we'll go back to the Talking Typer menu. So that's a quick overview of the new Talking Typer iOS app uh, from APH in America. You can find more quick guides and tutorials on our website at svrc.vic.edu.au.